Hey guys and gals, it's Sweet Project Cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer. Today we are giving you a new way to rejuvenate, revive, wake up your deep cycle batteries for your golf carts or your boat and for your car and truck batteries. This method we're going to share with you is ingenious. Julio came up with it. It's going to be mind blowing because the tool that we use, you can use it for many other things. And that's the key thing when you buy a tool is that you can use it for many other projects. Let's get cracking, stacking and racking. All right, here we are guys. What we're going to share with you is how to revive a battery. This is a six volt deep cycle battery right here. It's a six volt deep cycle. And I'm going to show you an ingenious way that Julio came up with on how to revive these batteries with a DC inverter welding machine. Now, the cool part of it is there's one that we use, which is this one right here. There's only two that we found, two that we found that work. And this is the one that works for the deep cycle batteries, six volters. And then the one right over here, this one, that one is for your standard car and truck semi batteries. And the cool part is you can weld with them and they're great stick welders. And this one will actually do a uh, no touch TIG. Pretty cool, but it's real simple. You take the caps off, and with this system, you only have to go five minutes, shut it off for 10, go five minutes, shut it off for 10, do it five times. Very simple, and I'll show you how it all works here, but we're going to top it off first with our distilled water. You can use a funnel. We like to fill it just about all half inch from the top and you want to do it in a well ventilated area remember what I said five minutes let it set ten five minutes let it set ten and you want to see it bubbling really good for five minutes that's when you start it now when you're doing a golf cart battery or a deep cycle battery like this leave the nuts on the post because it is a welder it has this clamp here for your stick and you have to put a pair of vice grips small vice grips on the positive post put this on the end of it clamp your stick positive end onto the end of the vice grips and you use the leave the nuts on so that you don't arc or anything like that uh, and mess up your threads if you're using a standard battery post you will get a clamp and those all this will be in the tools list the show more of the video's description so it'll all be in the tools list now these are the clamps i'm talking about right here you can use these clamp on and then clamp your cable onto each end so if you have a regular car battery post you just clamp that on there and then clamp your clamp this one right here onto that but we're going to do it this way because if you don't want to have to buy these then you don't have to buy them that's an extra savings for you Buscar en el show más de la descripción de video para todas las herramientas. Now, never take these off until you shut the machine off. The machine. the machine cannot be running when you take your clamps off. We're going to get the camera up there. I'll turn it on and you'll see it. But it will give you the actual voltage right here when I turn it on. All right, and you have your adjustment here. We say start at the bottom and let it do its thing and then slowly crank it up till you get some really good bubbling out of it. We usually go two notches on this. This will do up to 160 and the other one will do 200 which is what you want for car batteries. That's on this side over here which is right there and I'll show you how to find those. This has the paper over the caps. Okay, let's get the camera up there and then we'll flip it on. Now it's bubbling really well, and you can see we're at 38, which is beautiful. And you only have to do this five minutes, and this will wake up the battery, desulfate it, and wake it up, and you will not have to replace another battery. This is on a six volter, deep cycle. So golf cart owners and all that, here you go. Motorcycle guys, if you got a motorcycle battery, you want to do it for about two to two and a half minutes 
with that welder and it'll be marked in there now I can start to smell the sulfuric acid right now and these batteries are toast they're junk and we're gonna bring them back to life all right enough with this one now we're going to do this one here now to do this one you have to peel the label off and as you can see it's 10 of 17 and this one over here is replaced by one of 19 and these batteries are way old but we've done this to them and we're going to keep them going for years and years and years don't know if we'll ever have to replace them all right we've got the clamps hooked on negative positive I like to use a chisel when I'm taking out these big caps and they say they're maintenance free that's bull pucky that's bull pucky I have my headlamp on so you can see better it's kind of distracting all right we're going to fill it up with and throughout your charging you make sure that you top them off keep them topped off we like to like they said about a half inch from the top all right we are ready we topped it off with our distilled water and we have the charger set now these are the clamps I'm talking about right here you can use these clamp on and then clamp your cable onto each end so if you have a regular car battery post you just clamp that on there and then clamp your clamp this one right here onto that but we're going to do it this way because if you don't want to have to buy these then you don't have to buy them that's an extra savings for you so let's turn it on and see where we're at we're at 23 22 and you'll let this go the same way five minutes off for ten and we could not get any of these cells to bubble before now if we crank it up a little bit watch now it's really going but we say keep it down to the lowest level you'll be just fine now if you have a battery with a dead cell and it will not come back to life then crank it up four or five notches for a couple of minutes until you wake it up and get it back to life okay we'll turn that off and I'll show you what I mean with these clamps again make sure you always turn the welder off so I'll take my negative my positive got my negative my positive on clamp this one on here and if you want to get real fancy you can weld a wire onto the end whatever you want to do just like that we turn it on again and you watch it boil back there this is what happens when you get half power this will wake up any dead battery and you can use the same machine for welding and they're amazing little welders and always top it off as you go through as I've mentioned and we won't have to worry about these batteries again you won't have to buy another battery 